Thank you everyone for making it to our last presentation of the day. It's worth the wait, I promise you. Um, and we will go ahead and close the doors and get started now. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, I know it's the, the last uh, presentation of the day and you're probably very tired, but thank you. Thank you all for being here. Uh, we, we really appreciate it. Um, I am Tania Ontiveros. I'm the Chief Financial Con uh, Officer of Revolve Renewable Power. Um, just a little bit of background on Revolve. Uh, we are in the renewable energy industry, and um, we have projects in Mexico, U.S., and Canada. Um, before, of course, I go into my, my presentation, uh, I want to mention that Revolve is, um, is listed in Canada uh, on the TSXB under the symbol REVB, and we're also listed in the U.S on OTCQB under the symbol REBDF. And of course, uh, there's a disclaimer uh, because some information here will be, you know, we were going to be providing some, some projections. Um, feel free to, 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 read there, to read it maybe at night when you, when you want to go to, to, to sleep. And now I, I guess I can start talking about the investment opportunity in this uh, unique um, uh, company. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're in the renewable energy industry. And we, we are a revenue generating renewable um, independent power producer with a diversified uh, portfolio of, of operational projects in the distributed generation sector as well as the utility scale sector. Uh, for those ones that are not familiar with, uh, with, with the distribution generation sector, uh, those are the rooftop solar projects that you can find in commercial buildings. Um, and we, we, have, we have these projects in, in Canada and, and Mexico. Um, we generate revenue through long-term contracts. Uh, they're called Power Purchase Agreements, PPAs. And the term of the contracts are between 10 and uh, 35 years. Um, we also have a diversified investment strategy. Uh, we provide investors access to higher development rates by uh, selling projects that are, um, you know, during the development phase to big utility companies. And we also have long-term recurring cash flows that come from those distributed generation as well as utility scale operating projects. We have a management team with a proven track record in the industry. Um, the, the, our management team has delivered a historical revenue of $23 million US. And uh, this is from a sale of 1,550 megawatts of development projects. And the, the management team has also raised $10.3 million of, of equity. Um, at the moment, we have over 3,000 megawatts of um, renewable energy projects under, under development. So here we have Revolve at a glance. Uh, the company is now transitioning to become an owner and operator of renewable energy projects from origination all the way to uh, operating the projects. Historically, uh, the business model was to develop projects to risk them and then sell them to big uh, utilities for, of course, higher returns. And that's, that's something that the company will continue to do. But now there's also the transition into becoming an owner, an operator of, of projects in, 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 in different jurisdictions. Um, we also have, as I mentioned earlier, a diverse portfolio of, of projects. Um, three, uh, gigawatts of utility scale projects combined with 150 megawatts of distributed generation assets. We work with proven technologies, being wind, solar, battery storage. Uh, we have a track record of selling projects in the U.S. and Mexico, and we have generated revenues of uh, 23 million U.S. We are a North American platform, meaning that we're in Mexico and now uh, in the U.S. and Canada. And we also have a, a revenue generating platform by having operating, operating projects.
Uh, how does our operating platform look like? Uh, well, we do have that uh, utility scale business, business unit. Those are bigger projects, solar, wind, hydro. Um, and when we have the distributed generation um, business unit, which is, you know, those uh, projects that are rooftop solar, CHP, smaller projects. We have long-term contracted revenue through those uh, power purchase agreements, as well as recurring cash flow and the ability to distribute cash um, via dividends. Based on our latest financial guidance, uh, of so June 30th, 2024, which is our fiscal um, year end, we are projecting $6 million in revenue and EBITDA $1.5 million. All the numbers or amounts in here are in US dollars. This is our current portfolio of assets. We have um, operating assets that are hydro wind NDG located in Canada and Mexico. Uh, we also have a project under construction in Mexico and early, mid and late stage uh, utility scale projects as well in three different jurisdictions, Mexico, US and Canada. We also have a DG pipeline um, in, in the US and Mexico. And, and one thing to, to, to really point out in here is that in 2023, the company sold two projects in the US, uh, two projects located in Arizona. Um, there are solar and storage projects and they were sold to NG, uh, a global utility. The capacity of each project that we sold, one, one of them, the BAUS project was a thousand megawatt project and the deal price range of, of the sale was between 40 and 50 million dollars. In addition, we had the Parker project, which uh, is a 20, 250 megawatt project and the, the deal price range was between 10 and 12 and a half million US. So this is our track record. Um, the company started in 2012 as a private company. And from 2012 to 2022, uh, the company was um, you know, developing projects in the, in the renewable energy industry, uh, mostly in, in Mexico. Um, it established a, a 300 megawatt development pipeline, as well as sold a 15 megawatt solar project in, in Mexico in 2015. During 2018, uh, there was a, a sale as well, about 260 megawatt project in Mexico. And in 2021, the company expanded into the U.S. market with a two gigawatt uh, portfolio projects. In 2022, the company completed an RTO through the TSC. And then from there, uh, we have acquired a portfolio distributed generation projects from a business in that exited Mexico in 2022. And those are the, the, the projects that are currently operational and we have them in as part of our pipeline. In 2023, uh, the, the company sold the, the two projects that I mentioned in the earlier, earlier slide, which uh, total uh, 1.2 uh, gigawatts, and those were sold to Engie. And in 2023, the company expanded into Canada. Earlier this year, the company acquired Wind River Corporation, um, and that was an acquisition that came in with a portfolio of hydro and wind projects uh, that are under operations here in British Columbia, as well as in Alberta. And it also came with a portfolio of development projects. And just last week, we announced a proposed acquisition of a 30 megawatt project in Alberta. And this is a solar project. So just a little bit more information about our business units. Um, we have the two that I mentioned earlier. And when it comes to utility scale projects, uh, you know, we use the proving technologies such, such as wind, solar, and battery storage. Um, our, historically, we, you know, we developed the projects and sold them to the big utility companies. Now we're transitioning into owning and operating those projects. And things look, 
you know, a little bit different when you come, when you have a project that gets to be developed and sold, and when there's a project that you, um, you know, develop it and, and take it all the way to operations. Um, the development timeline on, on a utility scale project, we're talking about between three and four years. And um, we also have um, some milestone payments for some of the projects that are sold to big utilities. And for those projects that we own and operate, there's uh, recurrent revenue and recurrent cash flows that come from those long-term power purchase agreements. From a distributed generation perspective, we do have you know, rooftop solar projects, battery storage projects, and those are the smaller projects, more like five megawatt projects. Um, the development uh, takes a little bit less time than actually, you know, developing a, a utility scale project. We're talking about between six to nine months, and we own and operate those those projects as well with long-term power purchase agreements. So they 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 bring to the to the company and and to shareholder value of um, you know cash flows. These are some of the projects that we currently have in our pipeline. Um, the, the two uh, hydro projects that we just acquired in, earlier this year from the Wind River acquisition. Those two projects are actually located here in our province. Uh, one of them in Hope and the other one in Harrison Springs. Both projects have long-term power purchase agreements with DC Hydro. And we own 21% uh, of those those projects. And we also have, uh, as part of that acquisition, a wind project in the city of Medicine Hat in, in Alberta with a long-term power purchase agreement uh, with the city of Medicine Hat. And we own 51% of that, that project. And down below, we have an example of one of our distributed generation projects that is located in, in Mexico City or very close to Mexico City. And we have uh, you know, a power purchase agreement as well with the customer. And we own 100% of, of, of the distributed generation assets. Um, looking forward, uh, what is our, our plan? Well, we want to continue uh, increasing uh, revenue and cash flow through our DG pipeline, which will uh, become uh, online next next year and then in the years to come. We are continuing with the uh, acquisition of new projects, and uh, we're actively looking for new opportunities as well to just grow our our portfolio of projects in Canada, the U.S., and Mexico. Uh, when it comes to the U.S. And, and, and Canada utility scale projects, we have 90 megawatts of projects that we are hoping to reach um, ready to build status in, um, in 2025, which means that for those projects, there's going to be significant revenue coming in, and we plan to own and operate the, the, the two projects. In Mexico, we do have uh, two projects as well, one of them. Uh, both are wind projects, one of them of 103 megawatts called El 24, as well as a 400 megawatt project called Presa Nueva. Both projects are also uh, targeting to be ready to build status in 2025. And for, those, for these two projects, we're considering some partnerships or the sales for, for the projects so we can get a very similar return of, of the way we, we did it for the NG, NG, or the sale of the oh, two projects in the U.S. to NG. And finally, um, just when it comes to the uh, NG sale, which is the, the sale of the two projects, there are remaining project milestones that we need to receive as part of that sale uh, between uh, 45 and 55 million so of, of value that, that is going to get paid to the company. Um, this is our shareholder information. Um, we have um, 63 million of shoot and standing shares. We have uh, 5 million options, um, 8 million warrants, and our cash and deposits 
um, as of March 31st, because our June 30th, uh, 2024 financial results are not have not been released yet. Uh, it's 1.97 million US, and our debt, which includes non recurs non non uh, project debt, debt directly related to the to the wind project that we just recently acquired, uh, is of um, 10.7 million. And when it comes to management and insider holdings, it's approximately 60 percent. And I think this is it. Um, the, any questions? Um, are you going to be focused for Canada, Mexico, or the U.S. over the next couple of years? Um, I think the the focus is going to be on the on the three three different countries. Just doing, you know, working through those business units um, and expanding in the next couple of years in the three different jurisdictions. Yeah. You mentioned that you're trading in an 18 million market cap. I was just wondering what you guys did last year in terms of top line. Um, for revenue in 2020, like as of June 30, 2023. Yes. Um, I remember I have that. I need to have that hand with you. 2020. Right. 2.2 million. Okay. 